Hi everyone, this is Mike89. Welcome to the third video in my Sonic 3 and Knuckles tutorial series. This video is going to cover Marble Garden, and before we get started, make sure you're holding right as the as the stage opens here. And then as soon as you land, press left. You basically want to either hit this wall here or be falling at that kind of angle like I am right now. Um, as we advance to the landing here, basically we're trying to land on this steep section. And what we're going to do when we land on it is jump and insta shield immediately. Like that. Uh, and then off the second one as well. And what's going to happen sometimes is that you'll go straight through this platform here because the collision detection just doesn't kick in. Um, more often, you'll run off it over to the platform over here on the right and then get stuck on it and drop down like that. So you'll just catch up to here and it'll only cost about a second. Um, it's also possible to go through this platform here too, but that's much rarer. What's more likely to happen is you'll land here, so then what you want to do is immediately charge a spin dash. And then as the platform crumbles, uh, if you let go of down any time after moving off the platform, uh, as soon as you land, the spin dash will release. So now switch to holding right. Jump to, well ideally you would hit that ceiling, but that's fine too. Um, there's a ball and chain coming up here, you can use the shield straight through it. Uh, now what we're going to do here is we're going to move over next to these platforms. As soon as you see them move, but no sooner, is when you should jump. If you try and anticipate when it's going to move, and you jump too early, then you're going to not make the platform and you're just going to look silly jumping alongside it. Uh, so now two more jumps up to here, and now we're going to do what's called a screen wrap. What we're doing is we're scrolling the screen all the way down so that Sonic is right near the top, like this. So you can see how far down it gets. And if you very quickly let go of down and then jump off the top like this, uh, the game th actually treats your position as less than zero, zero being the top of the screen here, and it scrolls this way all the way through the map trying to find you. And it can take quite a few seconds, particularly in Marble Garden, which is a very big stage. So what we're going to do here, once we've jumped off the, off the screen like so, so you can see now the screen is starting to shift downwards, um, what we're going to do now is over to the right on that platform where I was, there's one of those mud pits. And the mud pits have an object at the bottom of them that kills you, normally. Uh, in this case, because we've shifted everything up there off the screen, uh, all those sprites don't exist. Now that, that still is where Sonic is, but the game doesn't show you that. And in order to save memory, it deletes all of the sprites nearby until it comes back on the screen again. So what we're going to do... Uh, so firstly, we're on a slight hill facing to the left. So just after we jump, we're going to tap right just to stabilize and then quickly do a spin dash. Spin dash as fast as you can. So you can see now there's the spin dash. And you can tell when you've landed as well because the screen um, shifts a lot faster when you're jumping or after you've charge the spin dash. So when you land it slows down quite significantly and that's how you can tell that you're on the ground and you can spin dash. So after spin dashing hold right until you see the screen scrolling slow down again which is about here and then switch to then switch to left and do a short jump like that and you should land on the speed shoes when the camera comes back. Now, this platform here can be just about anywhere, depending on how the stage has gone so far. Now, in this case, you can see 
that the platform is moving up. I'm going to show its rough range here. So if you imagine the top of the platform there, that's as high as it can go. And then the top of the platform being about here is about as low as it can go. So if it's right up the top, and at the moment it's moving upwards as well. So you can kind of sneak underneath it this way. And then also there's three 10 ring boxes down here and you can bounce off one of them and just carry on. But then also if it's right down the bottom, you can roll as you land on it. And then you'll pass underneath a ceiling that's coming up ahead. There's a number of different things you can do. But in this instance, you can see it's right up the top and I'm just going to go underneath it like that. And you can see I also insta shield to make sure I only hit one of these boxes and just bounce over the top of them. Uh, next thing, I'm going to stop here. Uh, this is another screen wrap. So jump, and then again, once the screen's scrolling a lot slower, we then charge another spin dash. Uh, this time we just hold right all the way until the screen stops there. Now, at the moment, you're up against the wall. And normally there's a spring on the corner of this wall, which you should be able to see as it comes on screen here. So normally there's a yellow spring there, but we took it off screen. So right now I'm standing inside it. And what I want to do is I want to get pushed down into the ground underneath this spring. And the way that you do that is you charge a spin dash here and then just as you release it, you jump. You press jump the very next frame. And when it works, it'll push you straight down. So what I recommend to make this easier is, so hold down, tap one of the buttons once, and then just as you release, uh, press all three buttons. Try and get them as close together as possible, but not on the same frame. And that effectively gives you three chances at getting the correct frame to go into the ground. So that's what it looks like when it works. Um, obviously once you're in the wall you now start holding left in order to zip to the right. Um, here we want to move just a little, once you're on the slope, what's going on here is it actually thinks Sonic's on flat ground at the moment. So you can see that is a little bit confused um, and then once you get a little bit of speed you want to roll and that's going to move you off the the ramp here and put and if we carry on it shows then you land on the ramp as normal and now it treats you as being on the ramp properly so that'll let you build up speed jump out of the corner of this of this ramp out there, lets you go straight up like that. Uh, and finally, okay, we're going to do one final screen wrap. Line it up roughly in line with this pillar here. So again, stop, let the screen scroll all the way down. And this time, what I actually recommend is that you switch to pressing right just before you jump. And what that'll mean is that you don't accidentally do a spin dash which will cost you quite a bit of time because the screen then scrolls up then you have to get back into position and scroll all the way back down again so what we're going to do is we're pressing right and jumping and the idea is you only do a small jump so that you will land about here and you'll be able to know that you landed there because the screen will scroll slow again just for a fraction and then fast again now we're in the mud at the moment. So now we want to switch to left. Once that, once that uh, fast scrolling happens, you then switch to holding left and you end up here. Uh, and this section is like in Hydrocity, there's an area after the quote unquote end of the stage just to fill up the stage's level data. And it's just kind of a repeat of the start of the stage. So you'll see the same, 
the same ramps here. Um, after this second jump, you actually want to hold a little bit to the left. This is a little bit uh, glitched compared to the um, the main part of the stage. Uh, then we're going to land on this one and jump off again. There are a couple of different things that can happen here. Sometimes this platform will stop you dead, but other times you'll just run off it like that. Uh, we want to end up down here. The objective is to go all the way to this corner and then duck. And once, um, now this time we're not going to do a screen wrap. So we just want the screen to scroll all the way down until that happens. Now, I don't know why, but when you get to this point in the stage, um, the Act 2 boss appears. So now what we're doing is, okay, we're waiting for that little drop there. Uh, once, once you've dropped down a little bit, you're now on a, a platform and you can move over to where Robotnik is. But obviously, if you press right to zip to the left here, um, you're not going to be able to deal damage. And if you take damage yourself here, except in one very specific instance, which I'll get to later, uh, if you take any damage here, the run is completely over. You cannot, you cannot finish this stage after that. So you have to do this very carefully, but also quite quickly. Because what we're going to do is we're going to move with spin dashes instead. So if you're here, which is roughly where Sonic is, you face right and you do a spin dash. Uh, it actually takes you over to the left exactly 16 pixels as if you had held right for one single frame. And we're going to use those spin dashes to continue to move to the left. And of course, while you're spin dashing, that is a valid means of hitting Robotnik as well. So what, what we have to do here is we have to do six spin dashes really quickly. So, okay, so you can see there, that's six. That's the first hit. And you'll hear that you'll hear that you get the hit. Once you hear that, you want to do two more. So seven, eight, and this one you want to hold because um, if you release it too quickly, then you'll be standing what, uh, when Robotnik becomes vulnerable again and he'll hit you and the same thing will happen. So you want to make sure you hold that one until you hear the hit sound again, then release it and do one final spin dash and hold this one until he moves all the way down. So that kind of looks like this. Now the reason for all of that is you need to be in the left half of his hitbox. You need to be over here because even though you can't see it, the drill that's normally on Robotnik's back is still there. And if you're still on this side, uh, he's going to hit you. And again, you can't take a hit in this fight except for one particular instance which is coming up. So we're still holding the spin dash here and now he's going to zoom up and you will have seen there he got hit again and then quickly disappeared. Now what he's going to do is he's going to go into the normal attack pattern but he's going to come from the left. So uh, after you get that hit Release the spin dash, hold right to now zoom all the way to the left, and now you're about here. Uh, once you get there, charge another spin dash. And you can see there that I get another hit, so now I've got six hits. But as we advance the frames, I'm going to get hit by the flames behind Robotnik. Now, if you're on the very left edge of the screen, you can actually take a hit. And I believe the reason why is because the ceiling here is as low as it can possibly be. But any time that you jump or get hit, which causes you to be knocked upwards, the screen will shift up. And everything about this doesn't work if the screen is shifted up. Uh, so, once you land from that hit... You then want to tap left to move yourself roughly to about here. Um, it's You can't really tell exactly where you're going to end up, but to be about in the middle is a really good idea. Because... Let's 
we continue, you can see from where I was about here, I was able to get two more hits on Robotnik before he became vo vulnerable again. If you only get the one, then if you catch it really quickly, then you can hold left to push yourself all the way to the right and charge another spin dash before he gets there. Alternatively, his next move is to come from the left as well. So you can go back to the you can hold right to go all the way back to the left and just wait there. But that would cost a few extra seconds, so I don't recommend that. Anyway, so you can see as the boss blows up, you're gonna see a silhouette of where Sonic is. Yeah, okay. So you can see that Sonic's there. Now this is going to be important in a second. In a moment the capsule's going to come through. And we have to know exactly at what point it is safe to jump. Because again, we still can't jump. It's still not safe to shift the screen upwards. But if we wait until the capsule, the button on the capsule gets to here, which is where Sonic is, and then I jump up against it, it doesn't shift the screen up, so that's fine. But, even once we've done that, we're still not done. There's still one more thing to do. Now we do have to scroll the screen up, but it's very important where we do it. Because otherwise, if we do it in the wrong place, there's a crusher that appears about here, and it can and will kill you. So, what we're going to do... So we're going to scroll the screen all the way down one more time. As soon as you see it, get to the bottom. Hold right and press, and then once you get to the left edge of the screen, press left. Just quickly tap it. And you should appear on the left side of the screen like that, perfectly safe. And then the last thing that happens here is it now plays... Like, it treats you as though you've beaten Act 2, and then it plays the cutscene that plays when you go to Carnival Night, which is that one there. And that actually will add 3 seconds to your time. Anyway, so that's Marble Garden in the speedrun setting. I'm just going to go back to the start and play that without any interruptions.